Hi everyone, Dallas with the SFR here today. Talk about transmission mounts, uh, specifically the different transmission mounts that come in Cherokees because we make our heavy duty trail proof replacement transmission mount. And we get a lot of questions about the two different versions, the centered and the offset versions. So first I'm gonna show you, I've got both versions of the stock mounts here. And uh, I'll tell you some of the differences. So this is the offset mount. This is our most common one. It's a uh, anchor part number 2625. Uh, it comes in pretty much all the four liter Cherokees up to 99. So over here, we have the centered mount. Now this comes on four liter Cherokees in 2000, 2001. It's also a, uh, it also fits the four cylinders in pretty much all the years. Now technically there's two different part numbers. 2570 is the four, the four cylinder version. 3188 is, the, uh, is for the four liter guys. Now they are different mounts. The one for the four liter has a little bit more reinforcement. It's a little bit stronger mount. They still fail all the time. But the main thing is that they're the same form factor. All the bolt locations are in the same place and they fit in the same place. Now we get a lot of questions from people asking, I'm looking at your mounts. I'm trying to figure out whether or not mine is the centered or the offset. Easy thing for me to say is, well, just look up your application online, see which part number fits. However, with anything Jeep, parts get mixed up, they get moved around, people swap things. Jeep was not exactly consistent with things. So the best thing to do is take a look at your actual mount and replace the correct one. Because if you mix and match the cross member and the transmission mount, your transmission is going to be skewed off to the side, puts a lot of stress on the motor mounts, gets your drive line out of, out of whack. Everything's all crooked and doesn't fit right. So the main differences here, you'll see they bolt up the same way. Now this is not a automatic versus manual transmission thing. The only transmission these guys don't bolt to is that Peugeot manual. So whether you have an AX15, AW4, whatever, um, they all bolt onto the bottom of the transmission the same. The difference is on the side with the studs on it here, this is the bottom side that goes into your cross member. Now if you line them up here, this one, the four studs are right in the middle of the mount. Now, this one here, same on, on the transmission side, but the studs are offset by about an inch. Now, you can see this when it's in the car. You go up underneath, you look at it from the back and a little bit below, you can see the cross member where it's sitting, you can see the mount, and you can see the four holes in the bottom of the cross member where those studs go through. All you gotta do is look and see, are they right in the middle of the mount or are they offset to one side? Here's a picture of what you're gonna see when you look underneath your Jeep. Now, you can see the, the uh, transmission mount sitting on top of the cross member and you can see the four holes where those studs go through. Now we're gonna sketch a few lines on here give you a better idea what you're looking for. Now the red lines indicate the edges of the transmission mount itself and the blue lines, in this case, this is a centered transmission mount. The four studs are right in the middle of the mount. Now if this were an offset mount, the four holes would be off over where those green lines are. We also get asked, you know, why, why do we need this heavy duty transmission mount? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Here's, here's what your transmission mount does. Yes, it mounts the transmission, obviously. Transmission sits on there, but it, it plays a much more critical role than that. Now, your motor mounts, they hold the motor side to side and they hold it rotationally to absorb all the torque of the engine. What they don't do a very good job of is locating the drivetrain front to back. What often happens with this transmission mount, it's placed crossways in the car. This steel here 
captures captures that transmission, keeps it keeps the whole drivetrain from moving front to back. The problem is all this rubber in here tears free and lets things shift around. And oftentimes people will get bound up or they'll hit a bump or whatever. And if the motor mounts are starting to, to get weak from being forced in a direction they don't want to go, and the transmission's not transmission mount's not doing its job, yeah, you get a fan through your radiator. You see it a lot. Our mount uses our super soft bushings we brought out in our motor mounts, but it's a it's a fully captured design. It's all 3 16 steel. The bushing shell is quarter inch wall tubing. Got that big half inch bolt going through there. Even if you were to take the bushing out entirely, this mount is gonna hold in place. Now, obviously you don't wanna do that, but this is just a much, much beefier solution, much longer lasting, and, uh, and locates things much more solidly and goes perfectly with our motor mounts. Um, hold everything in place. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you guys learned some stuff and uh, leave your comments on anything you might want to see in the future. And if you would, take some time, take a look over at stinkyfab.com. You got lots of products for your Jeeps, steering kits, motor mounts, suspension parts, and uh, hope to see you guys on the trail. Have a good one.